adventure on the tough Whoa. tracks of the mid-north coast. This part of the world is jammed packed with hard tracks and great camping. And for this trip, we're stringing together three of our favourite wheeling spots into one action-packed road trip. <laughs> Combine that with camping at the back of some local country pubs and I reckon we're in for an all-time adventure. For this trip, we've got a few extra passengers on board, starting with my brother Mitch, who's riding shotgun in Sooty, while Jocko has invited himself along in Graham's D-Max. We'd usually be lining up for our first track of the day, but it's too hot to be anywhere but the beach right now, so we're taking the chance to kick back for a few hours and cool off before starting the tracks in the late afternoon. The sand around here is super soft today and soon enough, we're also jumping on the tools and offering a helping hand to some other beachgoers go who've gotten themselves in a little bit of mischief. Go, 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 Don't forget the family. You can't leave the family here. With the afternoon getting on and some good deeds done, it's time to get the rigs dirty. We're on. Words of advice, hold on tight. A little bars for you, mate. We're each picking a track for the trip, and I've got the first pick. So, I'm going to take the boys up the road to a little favourite wheeling spot of mine, Possum Brush. Like many of our forests on the east coast, this place was absolutely devastated by bushfires a little over a year ago, and until recently, it was closed to visitors. Even with the tracks open, there's only been a few vehicles down here, and we've got no idea what we're in for. The plan is to check out Clay Hill, a committing climb deep in the forest that offers some white knuckle driving, especially if there's been rain around. And sure enough, that's what's forecasted for this evening. I reckon it's gonna turn into a bit of a wild night run. Now while everyone's um, airing down, I decided I'd take a second just to quickly check my dip oil, and lucky I did because it took about a litre and a half. Now if you recall back to our last adventure down the south coast of New South Wales, I actually um, snapped all the kingpin studs and I lost a fair bit of dip oil through that. So I checked it, topped it up, I'm right to go and drive a couple of hard tracks. The track into Clay Hill has always been a bit of a jungle. But after a year without vehicles on it, the track has virtually disappeared. And we soon have to find our own path to continue. The track itself starts off on the side of this creek, but getting there is taking a heck of a lot of effort. With night well and truly fallen, we at last make it to the start of the climb. Well, mate, this is Sean O's Hill. He's picked a doozy. Clay Hill. Yep. Night run as well. I reckon it's going to be pretty hectic. What do you reckon? Does it look better or worse at night? I'm not too sure. It's still scary. <laughs> it it's is. still scary. And once Sean takes the top off it, I reckon, I reckon it'll be, be unreal. Yeah. What I reckon we do is we get well out of the way. Yep. Oh, there's a bit of rain coming down too. Just Perfect. To yep. Let's <laughs> get out of the way, give him a crack at it. Yep. And I'll make my mind up from there, mate. Yeah, it sounds like a Done. plan. Right. right. Send him up. Oh, mate, I'm going to press the magic buttons. Second gear, and let's just feed it. The only way to do this hill. Come on, mate. I couldn't even walk up this thing, so let's... Oh. oh wow! Easy, easy. Oh, he did it easy though. Up we go. Yeah. Oh, it bounced for a bit. I lost a bit of momentum. I thought for a sec. I'm done here. Good drive, mate. But I'm lucky you got a big V8, mate, because I reckon you're gonna need all V8. eight cylinders. So I was just walking up this hill to check it out, and I noticed something on the track. Sean gave it so much jandle up the hill that his wallet fell out of the window. I reckon I'm going to save this for later. I'm glad I'm going now and not in another half an hour because I'm pretty sure it's about to pour down. Give it all eight cylinders of tickled Toyota Fury, champion. Let's go! Woo! Oh, it sounds angry already. Start. Go, mate. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, yes. I think he nearly just took off. Let's go. Guido's giving it absolutely everything here, but the 76 is just caught up on the ruts. Almost. Oh my god. I reckon that'll be that. Step up with the spring hanger on. Yeah. Far out. I've got two feet on the brake. The handbrake does not work. Is thy Land Cruiser handbrake that does not function? Well, Kaido's pretty much up. There's just a little step at the back, and his back right tyre sunk into it. So he's diffing out his low spring hangers. Coming on these V8 cruisers, 
are just dragging on the dirt, so it's gonna give him a quick winch, and he should be up. Now, I mentioned that Rain and Clay Hill don't play together that nicely, and a summer storm has just landed. All right, tension her up, mate. Kaido soon winched over the hump and can tackle the top of the climb. Righto, Kaido. Last drive, mate. Into up. Yeah, boy! Oh, that sounds so good. Jocko, our turn. D-Max time. Big boy pants on, mate. Let's yeah. see where we go. I've got him. Can you right, Mitch, Mitch, let's get the recovery gear now. We'll go get through it. this. Don't even, don't even worry about right. it, mate. I'll run the winch out. This will be a pretty heavy yeah. recovery. I've got one word for you. <laughs> I don't need Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Lots off. Yeah, send yeah. it, boys. You'll be we're right. We'll be right. Right there, mate. Here we go, mate. Give it everything. Power. Oh, it's sleep. We're not plenty, we're not plenty of oh, I'm just sitting here. He's into it. He's not going to be hanging around. Into it. Yeah, go, 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 Oh, oh, yeah, burning so rubber. Close. We've been spinning oh. on some logs. That was so close. So close. In fact, I'm going to claim it's the second closest. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so good. Oh, no, we are manly men. Yeah, no problem. Just a scatter. Manly. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> right, we are men in the bush. Here we are. Just like with Kaido's rig, we're going to have to give the D-Max a little winch to get it over that hump that's caught up on the diff. Fast pitch. Woo! <laughs> that was red off. All right, time for Pete to take on the climb. Mate, the good news is for Pete, yep. no more cicadas has left to throw at him, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, my heart. <laughs> Pete, we're ready for you, mate. Yeah, good on you. I'm coming up. Look, it's so controlled. Oh, no! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, no. Need a bit more mayo than that. Need a bit of Toyota engine in there, mate. Yeah! There he is! Yeah! There he is. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the way to the top. Pete's done it pretty easy in the end, with some pretty smooth driving, Hello. helped by a responsive throttle pedal. You got some of the vegetation you brought it with you? I reckon I underestimated that, Sean. So what, what mode did you have it on? I, I was Ultimate 4. Ultimate um, 4, you gave it, you gave it a the, fair bit. Yeah, you got to commit. You, you got to commit. commit. I like I that, think, mate. Uh, the second time we got there. The biggest vehicle yep, in the convoy. This, this should look good, sound I, good. I think he's going to give it a fair yep. bit. I reckon he will. Yeah, he will. All right, Sam, when you're ready, mate, take it away. Thank you. Risky. Risky. Yeah, you'll crawl up. You should do. That's reserved. That's nice. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, cool. yeah. Not stopping. Would you listen to that rig? That sounds sweet. Feathers up to just like Kaido. Loves it. He loves it. Loves it. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a challenge, getting out of here through this with trees down, the river we've got to get through. But the whole place has changed, so I, know, man. I reckon we just follow our nose and, and wind our way through the rainforest yep. and see if we can get out. Yep. I reckon it's going to be hectic, though. All so. right, let's All right, go. Let's give it a go. The tracks around here have completely changed since the last time we are here, and we're having to follow our noses to find the exits. Tell you what, though, what a sick way to start a trip. Massage my paddle, just a slight bit. Just a touch of it. So this is a real tight little pinch. There's a tight turn at the bottom, a steep exit, and a real tight turn at the top, so we're gonna have to do a bit of spotting. Whoa! You got it. Yeah, that's the go. Yeah. Holy hell, there it is. Well done, mate. Okay, this place is so overgrown. Since those bushfires came through at the beginning of the year, this place has been closed. Legally open now, but I reckon, without a shadow of a doubt, we're some of the very, very first down this track at the moment. As the summer wears on, more people come out here. They're going to bring chainsaws and shovels, etc., etc. This place will get back to its former glory, but right now, this is what we live for, getting into tracks like this that haven't been driven in a year or so. Good stuff. Here 
Yeah, well done. Well done. Well done, That's it. Well done. Yeah, well done. Well done. Good try, mate. Mate. You know what this reminds me of? What's that? The Borneo Rainforest Challenge. It really does, except we're not in Borneo <laughs> and there's no challenge except there's to get out of There's a lot of rainforest and it's just wild, mate. There's just trees over everywhere. I, oh. Half the time up the front, I don't even know which no. track to take. No. And those binds that come down and get stuck on everything, I've crazy. got half of them on my roof racks. So. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's punch our way out of here, follow the river, get to camp, crack a cold beer, and then Sign we can all up, discuss mate. just what a great drive I've done today. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> well, four out of five things ain't bad, mate. I'll take four out of five in another <laughs> week. All right, let's, let's go. go. Let's get out of here. It's close to midnight and we finally make it back to the edge of the forest. And all that's left is to find a place to park it up for the night and roll out some canvas. A beach trip and a night run in one day. Not a bad way to start off a trip with the boys. There's still some time to get a fire crank and enjoy a few cold ones as we get ready for an even bigger day tomorrow. We've made an early start this morning to get to our next wheeling spot in good time. And today, the tracks are Graham's choice. Mate, another day, another dollar. Day two, ready to wheel, hey? Graham's put together an epic run up Bago Bluff out the back of Warhope, starting one of the hardest challenges of the area and winding up to an amazing lookout on the bluff. First up is a gnarly little rock climb the locals call Little Mouse Trap. Mate, little mouse trap, mate. Little mouse trap. We've yeah. talked about this one for a little while now. We have, and it's a doozy. We've tried to drive this before, yeah. and none of us got up. That's true. <laughs> it was yeah, raining, exactly though. True. What? We, it was, it was wet. Yeah. But I think that's the big problem: is traction on this track. It's yeah, just but like it's not wet. And it's, it's like little ball bearings. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, these, yeah. Each yeah. little one's like a ball bearing. And I think there's three distinct lines. I reckon we've got that line, the middle line, and the big whatever, boy. Whatever that thing Sean, is. Sean, you're up first, mate. Are you going to try the big boy, or are you going to do the medium? What is your plan here? That looks like a waterfall, Jocko. Not interested, mate. I reckon this one here, I'm going to stick as close as I can to that tree. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then drive um, up it. Yeah, and just try and hopefully not lose traction, do it in one motion. Mm -hmm. High yeah, five Mitch go. at the top. Yep. Get ready to crack a beer at camp tonight oh. and be the hero of the day. That's, Ooh, that's there's a, a lot, that's lot of a lot to unpack right <laughs> so let's, let's, start start let's, let's start with getting the car started. <laughs> you can get down to here, then we'll high five yeah, and have a go at this. Yeah. So, I'm feeling pretty confident, but Sam doesn't seem so sure. And he's soon checking over the parts he carries from Spare's box in the back of the 80. Seatbelt is going straight on. On, oh, mate. You've got that bar, you'll need both hands on that, mate. This is going to be a Here's trouble. <laughs> little mouse trap. I thought I would come up from the back of the convoy with a little care package. Oh, what's this? A couple of spares. Little bearings. We've got this. There's a bit going on here. There's a bit going on up studs, here. Studs, so I'd, I'd break these off. Axle then. studs, wheel bearing kit, some belts. Those, There's mate. a lot more at the back of the convoy if you do need them too. Have you got CVs? I've got all sorts of business, mate. This little guy, well, this is for our friend in the D-Max. you got name a CV. You might what? need that. Mate, I'm going to say, the timing is spot on. We're just about to drive one of the hardest tracks up here. That's right. Um, it's not giving me heaps of confidence though. No, look, <laughs> I, I can only try. You've got the spares. If it all goes pear-shaped, Yep. all I can say is good luck, mate. Well, we're going to need it. Give it hell. All right. You ready? <gasps> you kidding me. Have you got a spare starter? <laughs> <laughs> Give it a little roll start backwards. It's got a little bit of A-wire, maybe. Pop the bonito. We'll jump. With that gremlin sorted, we're finally underway. Although the confidence is a little dented. I actually think I will be needing to hang on. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> be careful, we've got nothing on the dash that can fall off this time. Now it goes. Yeah. And again, bump it up. That's it. Whoa. Yes. Straight up. Good. It's crazy what just a little bit of rain does. Like yeah. last time we were winching here for hours. We had zero chance last time. Mm. Well, anyway, we're lifty boy. Good luck, The mate. big 76, mate. I reckon you'll nail it. Mitch is taking a nervous wee right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you shook. Oh, All right, big mate. dog. This is going to be spectacular. Spectacular. Get her straight and give it a... Not too much. That's it. That's, that's it. The that's yeah, a, that's, that's perfect. That's, that's line. perfect. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, bump give, it up. Give it a bit. Oh, yeah. Righto. 
Give the, as you come up, give the rear a little bit of a bump. That's it. That's it, go from there, mate. Holy, that feels sketch as. Yeah. You all got shot. <laughs> I saw the whole thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Jock's done away. <laughs> Jokes aside, we've got quite a problem here. And winching the vehicle up a rock step with the tire off the wheel is, of course, going to cause all sorts of damage to that wheel. I wouldn't mind trying to fix that wheel and tire in this spot, just so we're not trying to take that rim all the way up here, because he's going to damage the rim and also rip that tire completely off. Yep. Maybe even damage it. Gonna have a square rim by the time we get to the top. I know. Yep. So we'll see how it goes. We'll secure the vehicle and have a look what it looks like. All right, well, in every situation, we need a hero. I'll be that today. <laughs> you can be that guy. All right. First priority is to secure the vehicle on the winch rope, and then we're going to slowly back the vehicle down, try and take some weight off that corner with a busted tire. Little more, mate. It's about to drop off. Little more. As we winch the 76 back over the step, we spot a slim chance to get that wheel clear of the rock, and that means packing under the rear tires and then winching the car forward again a touch. Yep, that's it. Stop, stop. Hold it there, yeah. mate. Hold it there. <laughs> Hold it there. <laughs> That's sick. Super cool. Well, this is the best you could hope for in this situation. We've actually winched him down and got him in a spot with a couple of rocks so he'd get this tire in the air. That way we don't need to get a jack under the vehicle. We've got the tire off the ground. Yep. We can then reset the bead, winch him up to safety. Job will be on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Feel not like it's bit. Oh, you're back. Ah. <laughs> I'm always nervous at this bit. It's going to be at the top too. Yeah, it's going to it's going to blow my eyebrows off. <laughs> there it is. Still made him squiggle. Well, that was pretty wild. We've got Kaido moving again. He's opted to stay on the winch to get himself out of trouble. And that's probably for the best. We've just got an old floor mat here out of one of the four-wheel drives. We're just placing it underneath the winch rope on this sharp bit of rock. It just means that the winch rope went under tension isn't rubbing back and forth or clipping against these rocks, because it won't snap. I don't think it's gonna snap here, but what it will do is just wear this rope right out. That was touch and go for a bit oh. there. All right, time for Team D-Max. Let's see how they do. Come on, boys. Do you want me to turn the heater on for this? No, I didn't want you to turn the heater on. Can I, is there anything I can press? No, I need to concentrate. Where are you going? I'm go going there. up there. I'm going to go up there. Watch that rock on your right. No, I can Watch see that rock. There's new panels. I can see the rock. Oh, I don't know if I do that. Oh, what? No, that's okay. You're right. You're right. Yep. That's, like... that's all right. <laughs> and up we go. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Stop, 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 stop. Now you had to turn, and unfortunately the vehicle wanted to go this yeah. way. Can I go well, at least we got the front up. No, you're right. Go back. The D-Max is sitting pretty low on those rocks, and there's a heap of places where the undercarriage can get caught. To help that rear diff over the big step, we're packing a few rocks under the back right tyre. Get the back up slowly. Go. Go, go, go. No, stop. Stop, 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 stop. It's a better spot to winch from. That's a shame. I thought I was going to nearly do that. Well, this is a massive hill, super steep, and um, it's really hung up as well, sitting right on the chassis. So we're gonna do a double iron pull to make it a lot easier on the winch and um, a lot safer recovery. So little soft shackles, um, anchored to a nice spot, double line pull, job will be on. Now, of course, in any recovery, we always put a blanket over the heaviest part of the system. And with that double line in place, the run has Graham and Doc up and out of trouble in no time. All right. Pete's up next, and he's got his throttle controller wound up to ultimate eight, so you can bet he means to hit this challenge pretty hard. Something tells me Pete's confidence would be a little bit shook. We've had one vehicle <laughs> out of three make it up here. Um, the last two have been very emphatic drives, and yep. um, it's just one of those tracks. I think you really want to get it on the first go, yep. but I think if anyone's going to do that, It'll be Pete. it's probably Pete. Pete eh? yeah, if I was a betting man. Righto, Pete, take it away, mate. This thing will just... I think I will. Oh, he's not holding back. Yep, go. Nice one, mate. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Well, it. yeah, mate. I think it's just so light. I oh, know, I oh, know. It's just that momentum has carried it through there. Even when he backed off a fraction, it still just pushed through. Still loved it. Righto. Sam. Your turn, mate. Make it look easier than that. Go on. <laughs> 
Get the lockers ready. We're gonna need them, I think. This step gets much bigger when you're at the bottom of it. I can tell you that much for free. In the last few days, Sam's rear locker has developed a problem and isn't working all the time, which only leaves him with a front locker. Combined with a stack of power in that 80, let's just say his drives are entertaining to say the least. Whoa! Yes! Yes! Put it there, bro. Oh, yeah, That's a good drive. Ooh. How's that? Holy it's, yeah, it's going. It's going. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my track certainly lived up to reputation. That was an absolute cracker in more ways than one. But for now, let's get right to the very, very top and check out a view, because Shawnee loves those heights, don't you, mate? You're not even talking about it. Doesn't want to admit it. We're soon punching our way up some steep climbs on the way to Bago Bluff, and the convoy is on the noise trying to make it through. is a challenge that we've got a bit of a long history with. A sketchy diagonal rock step that'll make you glad you got seat covers. Speaking of, I reckon it's time for Mitch to step up to the plate. <laughs> what an initiation. Let's get him into the driver's seat and see how he goes. Now, a little bit of a plot twist. I've decided to throw Mitch in the deep end. He's gonna drive Sooty up this track, a gnarly little track. A um, little bit of background information. I once nearly rolled a car on this left one that you're gonna be driving. So it's pretty straightforward. Very straightforward. All you need to do is, uh, just do your best, mate. And if you get it wrong, I just reckon the boy's going to give you heaps. <laughs> um, I certainly will. Sean sure nearly had a big issue here once in the 79. Yeah, and it makes sense why he's given it to Mitch. I reckon he's too scared to drive this. I, so think, he's I think you've nailed it. Given it to the better looking, yeah, more better talented yeah, younger yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's not judge that until we see him come up. What do you reckon like, goes through the, um, that little crack? and then hook back right. Look, mate, I've knocked off. I'm in the passenger seat. I've no <laughs> advice. I'll, look, it's, you're on your own, mate. I'm, I'm sorry Ooh, to say. Snake. I You've got to work this out. I reckon we got this. Can I get out? Can I get out? Do I have to be in here? Slow and steady. He's taken a very calculated approach to this. Yep, already way better than old left foot whale. <laughs> Ooh, he's going the yep. technical yeah, line. go so far as to say that's the best line I've ever seen driven up oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, you just concentrate. Two feet on the brakes. Not terrible brakes. No brakes. No, 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 that was a really good line. I'm, yeah, I'm really good. impressed. It was this good. bit's way scarier though. Yeah. I'd, yeah. Just, just. You're doing well though. Let Sooty take over, mate. Mitch, you're way better than him already. That was I, very well, I don't leave stains like that on the seat at least. Didn't you know you your brother <laughs> there we go, it's yeah, alright, it's alright. Yeah, good soot. She's unreal, it's like a tractor. Did you just turn the locker up before we came to a complete stop? Uh, Mate, yeah. just a little bit of mechanical sympathy, please. <laughs> well, Sooty and I survived Mitch's first drive. Now, here's one for you. Would you give the keys to your rig to your sibling? Or maybe they're a mad wheeler. Let us know in the comments below. Didn't even lift the wheel, the big GU. That's the guy. Whoa! <laughs> I'm out of there! Fuck! Well, it's always entertaining to watch this thing. With that climb done, we're getting close to the top of Bago, and a lookout that has to be seen to be believed. Check this out.
mate. What a stunning part of the world, That's eh? It's got to be one of the most spectacular yeah. views you'll see anywhere, I reckon. Definitely, and the fact you can drive your vehicle straight up right to it. it. One thing that's missing though, one thing as we normally would have with us here, is a Sean Whale. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, sitting down, he's a little bit scared, he's a little bit sick. I'm he doesn't not, like heights. He's not a fan, mate. I don't he's not it. a fan. This is great view. Well, <laughs> yeah. you know what else you can see down there? Camp, <laughs> mate. Camp. Yeah, yeah. You reckon? You keen? Yeah, pretty keen. I'm pretty keen to uh, get down there and have a beer. Yep. And I reckon Sean's pretty keen to get off this. Right, he's pretty keen to get out of here. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's head to camp. Let's right, do it. Let's do it. From the top of the bluff, you can see almost our campsite in the distance. And this one is an absolute gem at the back of the Long Flats pub. Is soon springing up and Mitch is making himself useful at last. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well, the table's coming out early. I've got some pretty good plans tonight for dinner. The boys are gonna be, well, I think they're gonna be pretty impressed. It's an old favourite with a couple of new twists. Look out for this one. With camp set up for the night, it's time to take a load off and enjoy a cold Iron Jack with the boys. Not a bad spot, eh? Location number two in our road trip is done and dusted, which just leaves Jocko to pick a track for tomorrow. And knowing him, it'll be something pretty hectic. First though, time for the boys to experience a little bit of culinary magic. Well, here we go, what a, what a fantastic campsite. It's not every day you can camp behind a pub, you got a little creek behind you, and after a couple of days of hard four-wheel driving to come to a place like this, I reckon it deserves a great feed. Graham, what are you doing, mate? Mate, hey, what? The boys have actually asked this one, mate. What are you doing? I'm doing curried sausages. So look, if you guys have been following our show, our YouTube channel for a while now, ages ago you would have seen me make curry sausages. One of my favorite meals. Oh. In fact, it was the very first meal I ever cooked in this camp oven about 15 years ago. Oh, you've so, got a lot of stuff in What's going on in there? I, I didn't ask for a beer, but uh, while you're there, do you actually, want a beer? while you're there, if you uh, wouldn't okay, mind, you just help yourself, eh, mate? You want a beer? Yeah, if you could. Yeah, I'll, you could, you I'll you buy you one. And, and get some sausages too, mate, because that's the first ingredient with curry sausages. Couple of sausages? sausages. They've got some look, weight in them. Look, the other reason I'm cooking curry sausages there is my brother is on this trip. Now, he thinks he can cook curry sausages half decent too, sure. but he hasn't tasted mine in is this many like a years. brother off? When you okay. see this meal at the end of tonight, I trust think when me. the audience sees who's the bigger bloke, trust me. <laughs> trust me. It's not about the size oh. of the bloke, it's, it's about how Dude, you Mate, it's all I about how met. you use it. I've boiled some water, I've boiled some water here, yes. and literally we're going to cook the sausages in some boiled These water. They're girthy little boys, aren't I, they? I picked them on, on purpose, mate. That's a... I, I didn't want to show any weakness around my brother. No. So, you shouldn't. Put them in. Yep. Ah, hot. There's no rules in this. Choose a sausage that suits your personality. If, if no, hey, look, there's small ones out there, there's big ones yeah. out there, there's this German one. I've seen yeah. those, they're huge. Have you seen the bratwurst? Oh, massive. While the sausages are cooking, I'm getting all the ingredients ready. Yes. More so delegating the tasks I don't want to do. Well, that's what a chef Straight does. Straight in the fridge, mate. Have you, oh, you get one guess. What are you doing? Oh. What am I cooking? <laughs> what am I cooking? Oh, I've seen you cook a lot of things. <laughs> A bit of curried snags, I reckon. Bingo, he's got I reckon you blokes, I reckon, here's what I think, you blokes are thinking back to when you were 16 in the bar together. <laughs> 16? <laughs> We've shared a lot of things. That's a bit old, that. mate. That's a bit old. <laughs> right, look, I, uh, any hoot. <laughs> well, what I want to do is boil that water quite vigorously yeah. until the skin starts to peel. You've been there. Oh, You've been there. That's You've enough been time been in a wet oh, yeah. 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 A lot of people try and pan fry the sausages. Right. Wrong move. Is that, is that Wrong the right move. move. Get them nice and wrinkly, get the skin to peel off, Yeah. and you're onto an absolute winner. They should be just about done, mate. Oh and you know they're done hey, when they look exactly on. like. I'll have a look in there. Oh my God, oh, see, man. Exactly. That is that, that's disgusting. what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. No, it's not what I'm it's talking about. Goodness gracious. Look at that one, that one's. You know that one cooked. <laughs> <laughs> now, normally a lot of people discard the water Don't you've do just that. cooked Don't the sausages in. Goodness sake. Keep a little bit of sausage water. I'm going to do that. So, what I'm going to do with the rest of this, I'm going to dip that. <laughs> might need Mitch's swag, I reckon. Yeah, you it's, should. Yeah. It might be dingoes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to put it near my swag, obviously. <laughs> There's, no, there's no dingoes here. I'm going to just pull that away. I'd normally use olive oil, I don't have any. Oh, <laughs> shivers! Crikey! Put a bit in there. I'm going to stir this. You can't muck around at this point of the, the job, there's a fair bit going on. Now, 
straight away with the curry powder. Yes. You've seen me with this. These are for later, but the first thing you want to do. Yeah, go hard, man. Don't be a. That's it. <laughs> oh, when it like, hurts back in your throat, you, you know, know you're doing a good thing. You know, you know you're, you're doing a good thing. Where's Mitch? Where's Jock? I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need. Yeah. This is where things get a little bit wild. What I'm trying to do is peel the skin off it, but. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's a lot of see, curry powder see, in here. See the skin? You want to get the skin off it no, as we, much as you can. No, we just need to pull the skin off the... Everyone needs to pull the skin off it. That's, <laughs> that is the key. It's not yeah, hard. It's not hard, boys. Yep. Oh, so, yeah. as soon as you get the skin off them, I'm yeah. going to start cutting them up. Oh. All right. We've got um, coconut cream. Oh, this is stressful. Oh, this is stressful. It's stressful. I can smell burning. No, no, we're good. We're, we're good. hurry up. We're going to hurry up. Ah, I'm getting there. bitten by something. <laughs> Go, go, go. I need them. Have you got another knife? I'm Just gonna... put your finger in there. <laughs> I'm going to now use the sausage juice. Oh. I tried yep. to get some good help here. I'll hold your sausage for you. Thank you. <laughs> Basically, I've used the sausage juice as a bit of a stock, and that's going with the coconut <laughs> cream. Put them straight in, mate. Put them straight in. Don't even muck around. Put them... I'm going to jump in the microwave. Hang yep. on. I'm going to chuck a bit of normal milk in there now. There you go, mate. Go. That's about it. Oh that's about goodness. it. So no, I'll, I'll put about that much in. This is, look, this is actually the secret of the whole recipe. Um, this one here is the chicken curry. Always use the chicken curry. You can get them in the small little ones that don't have the noodles in it. Oh, yeah. I decided to get the noodles because... Gourmet. Mate, you know me, <laughs> you know me. I'm going all out here. There you go, I'm putting them in there. Put that straight in. Holy babe. heck. Oh. Here we go. Oh, this has got all the veggies you'll ever need. Oh, that is, that is a heck of a meal, bro. What else are you putting in here? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not wine, don't worry. It's um, it's just water. <laughs> it's just water. Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna leave this go for. Well, the longer you leave it, the better. It, it might seem a little bit frantic at the start when you're trying to peel the skin off it, and but there's sausages going everywhere and all the rest. You know what to do. But as soon as you get it under control, it's actually. I think it's a metaphor for life. You can just simmer this now for probably. Yeah, we can chill out. Yep. Let that go. The sausage is already cooked. The veggies are, are good, but I just wanted that curry to infuse. Look at that. Mate, that is looking super. The smell, the smell. Like, hang on, just two seconds. Sorry, put, mate. Put, sorry, you put a lid on it. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, we're on the winner here. And if that is raw <laughs> sausage juice and and it tastes that good, I will tell you what, when it's done, it's a lot, lot of curry, a lot yeah, of curry. It's a, it's, a, it's a certain man that can taste raw sausage juice and know it's going to be okay when it's cooked. What do you reckon? I'm turning that right down. I'm going to simmer that for maybe ten to fifteen. Mm -hmm. That'll do, I reckon. Mate, I've just turned that heat yeah, off. How does that look? It's looking absolutely, oh look my. at the steam, look at the oh steam. Oh my goodness. It's like a radioactive that, yellow. I, I told you to get a bowl, by the way. Yeah, but I don't have a bowl, <laughs> so go, just plate me up. Mm. Sort this out, who's got a plate? Just give me a plate, a you're gonna get some curry. Here we go, here we go. That is superb, Jock. Is it nice? It's oh, man. No, no, right. no sausage Looks for you. Good. Look at that, look at Cheers, that. mate. What do you reckon, boys? Wrap your laughing gear around a sauce. What do you think? Oh, look, to be honest with you, if right. the queen came to my house and 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 She's I had to cook going. one meal, yep, it'd be this. It'd be really? this. And look, I want to put the question out there. I want to put the question out there. Look, if you had one camp meal to cook, what would be your go-to? Far away in the comments below, because I'd love to know. <laughs> I'd love to know exactly what you plan to cook. Would Mate, it be a dirty old sausage? I think I think I can do better than this probably, but not not by not much. much. Not, not by much. much. This is fantastic. It's my go-to, folks. Look, Mm. We, we've got a big day tomorrow. We've got some epic tracks. Yeah, we really? are halfway on this trip, yep. and yep. as far as I recall, the further north you go, the f it just gets savage. Tougher, there. I guess, man. Yep. Absolutely. Tougher, I guess. All right. Let's I'm going to try to the Thanks, fire. Thanks, mate. Yep. Let's, go, let's go sit here. Cheers, Jocko. It might look like a perfect morning this morning, but last night a huge storm came through and more rain is on the way. We should make the tracks today pretty intense. Jock's plan for the day is to take us up the road to Coffs Harbour, where we'll tackle our final track of the trip. How is this for a campsite? Ticks all the boxes. We've got a pub up here, which we may have snuck up there for a cheeky beer before dinner last night. We've got a river down here. And the best thing about this campsite, of course, the tracks are about 30 minutes away. The boys are all milling around this morning. We're trying to get a cup of coffee into us, a bit of breakfast. I'm going to do exactly the same, get packed up, get stuck into it. We've got an absolute doozy planned for this morning. There's no doubt about it. I've been loving Wheel and Sooty again. It's just a tough old truck. But one thing I have missed is having the rooftop tent. I've got the swag. It's fine. Um, hot night last night, and that canvas just stuck to me. But um, I want to show you something that's um, it's got me thinking anyway. 
Now check this out, I haven't seen this sort of setup before. This is an awning or a fly that essentially comes straight off the back of the rooftop tent. Kaido, mate, this has got me thinking, bud. Would this fit my rooftop tent on, on the Dirty 30? Yeah, mate, sure would. Just clip straight onto the 1.2 or the 1.4 like we've got here. Gives you a heap more shade right out the front of your ladder where you want it. Yeah, mate. Well, I saw you set up last night. Didn't take long. How does it pack down, mate? Does it take much room or what? Yeah, just uh, fold the poles up, roll it up, and you're good to go. Yeah, it's so a nice and lightweight. Yeah, yeah, That's sure. exactly what you want. Mate, that's a really cool little addition to a really cool setup. Yeah, that'd go perfect on the 30. Yeah, it would do, mate. All right. Well, that's definitely got me thinking. I'm going to go roll up the canvas. Suggest you put this away, mate, because today you've got some big tracks to drive. Day. Yeah, Let's big go. time. All right. All right. Let's get this show on the road, mate. You can rely on Dr. Pick a doozy of a track to drive, and his choice today is no exception. As we arrive in Coffs Harbour, the clouds are closing in again, and up ahead is a long, slippery climb up the side of a mountain, full of ruts, rocks, and scary angles. How good does that look? Hey, Jocko, call me, mate. Yeah, got you, mate. The last track, mate, I, I know what this one is. This is an absolute doozy. Yeah, morbid trail. I mean, there's plenty of tracks to choose from in Coffs Harbour, but I picked this one just because, you know, it's a good all rounder track, and. There's a couple of real technical sections in it, and then at the top you get a real nice view, so I thought it'd be a good one to finish out the trip on. What do you reckon? Well, mate, I reckon the real reason you chose it, so we've had a fair bit of rain over the last couple of days, I reckon this is gonna be a pretty slippery adventure. Yeah, last time we were here and it rained, we were on this track all day and we couldn't even get up, so, <laughs> so I reckon this will be fun. Yeah, bring it on, mate. Mitch is excited. I reckon everyone's small from here to here. Let's get into this one, eh? Sounds good. Lead the way, mate. The tracks in Coffs Harbour completely change when things get wet, and this bottom section of Morbid can become completely undrivable. Look at the ruts up here. That's huge. Up we go. That's an old. <laughs> <laughs> no choice there, you. Get the things off the dash. Back quarter. Back quarter? What are you talking about? No, the back guard. Calm down, mate. <laughs> Calm down. It's like the first time you've ever been for a riding sooty. <laughs> Makes a lot of weird noises. Even on 35s, Sooty's diff pumpkin has barely cleared the rut. This is going to be a real challenge for the lower slung vehicles in the convoy, including Kaido, who's only on 33s. Something tells me that this is going to be absolutely spectacular. It's going to sound great, but wait till he gets into this rut. If he falls in this rut like I did, I don't know he's got the articulation to get through. I don't even want to think about it. No, he's going to cross it. Oh, so we're in the rut now. That's it, that's it. That's it, drive it. So close. That diff's hitting the ground real bad. Your pumpkin's holding, like, holding you up. Drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it! Yeah! What a drive! That's a good drive. What a drive, that's committing, that's super committing. Wheel in the air and you've got to put your foot down. <laughs> oh, yes! Kaido, you're an absolute weapon, mate. Mate, this track's got me excited already, let's go. That was insane, dude. That was insane. I didn't think you were going to do it. It took a lot of commitment. Quite I got hung up on this one because his rear diff was just ploughing through. You can see all the dirt up there. The D-Max is a lot lower than the big 76 there, so I reckon his best bet is to try and straddle that rut, get two tyres up high in the bank and just commit to it. It's going to be a really hairy drive, but I reckon he can do it. Good drive, mate. Yeah, good drive. Line, Wheel lift here. There it is. Yeah, good drive. Not good drive. Oh, where are you going? I'm trying to go up this hill. <laughs> Who wants to be? Don't talk to me. Just like we planned, Graham has managed to straddle a rut and avoid diffing out. Beautiful. Yep. Yep. And yep. That's a technical drive. Well done, mate. Beautiful. Thank you. Precision. Thank Very nice spotting, mate. Thank you. Pete's going for the other option, getting in the rut and just sending it. What rut? Right? Loves it. 
white run. Pick up a couple of coffees on your way, mate. Yeah. Right. That thing doesn't even struggle, does it? Two-inch <laughs> lift, 35s, low and so light. Just, capable. Yeah. So capable. What a rig. Morbid Trail follows the ridgeline right up into the clouds. And with the next challenge, up ahead, Graham's decided to change things up a bit. I've got a surprise for you. What is it? Did is, is you fart again? No. <laughs> Do I get to drive? Mate. Awesome. <laughs> brand new D-Max. Don't been, stuff it up. I've been waiting all week. Do not stuff it up. These panels are dead straight. She's brand new. It's got 4,000 kilometres on it. I will try. I only did a little bit of damage to your other one in Tassie. So we're good. Oh, how do you... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what? oh, the only the one stipulation was you're not allowed to move the seat. Okay. <laughs> I'll see if I can do this without moving the seat. I can't, my key, like my knee is too close to the... <laughs> Up ahead, things are getting slippery and Kaido is soon struggling. We'll get through this, okay? If you get nervous, you need to sit outside and just breathe. Let me know. There's no hurry. It's just a learning curve. Did you take your fish oil this morning? Who? Jock might look like a monkey, but he can wheel as good as anyone in the convoy. He's picked a perfect line in the D-Max. He's making it look easy. Good drive! What was that? That was cool. This thing's nice and smooth. The track ahead just keeps going up and up, and we soon find our way into the clouds. We're up onto one of the hardest sections of Morbid. And once again, Mitch is taking a crack behind the wheel of Sooty. Holy Ooh, heck! That's a bit of an angle. Try Two up. hands for me. Well, I think I'm in third. <laughs> Come on, mate. Get, get it together. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. <laughs> I just drive it, Mitch. Oh, oh. Easy on the clutch. Do that again, but better. <laughs> do, it, do it better, though. Looks like mate. he's hard on the gear. He's very hard on the gear, mate. I'm holding on for dear life, too. Ready? Yeah, go on, mate. Go on. Oh, give it a go and have a real go. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. I remember my first time driving manuals a while ago now, but you know it. That's it. That's it. They were boring weeklies all the same block, Bosco. <laughs> That's a drive! That's a drive! Come on, oh. let's go! Oh. It went up and then it just kept going. Yeah. That was unreal. Oh, I'm so excited! That was a really good drive. Get your car over this side. That's it, that's it. Cut. That's it. <laughs> that's it. You're almost up. Keep going, you're almost there, right? So close, mate. Now go. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah. Now that's it first. It literally took that's just it. a push to get enough traction for the D-Max to that's get it. moving. Yeah! Good drive, mate, good drive. drive. That is a good drive. That's sick. It's got to commit to it. Yeah, you can see that because he didn't have the clearance of 35, so he was just able to just stay on the high side of the rut, and then on this section, just try and Wheel in the air for most of it, and just not back off. See, it makes such a difference when Jock's not in the vehicle. <laughs> Righto, Pete, take it away, mate. It's gonna be a bit uh, quarter panel nasty, I reckon. Easy, Pete, easy, easy This thing is mate. just low and wide. 
Here we go, the Hungry Hippo is up next. I can't wait to see this, 37's twin lock. Got lots of lift. They should absolutely eat this stuff up. Hungry Hippo, come on, mate. You want me to have a go? There it is. There you go. Just like 30 PSI. Straight through the ruts, mate. Straight through, through. through the guts. Jeez, that thing's a rig, hey? Yeah. That was a little bit wild. Mate, you haven't seen the half of it yet. Check out what's ahead. Whoa! Go on, mate. <laughs> probably if I can get out now, it's probably a good spot to get out. There's any. Do you want me to spot you? I'll get out if you like. <laughs> Whoa! You right? <laughs> Heavy, don't do that anymore. <laughs> no, you're right. Just, just keep in it. You'll be right. Brakes a lot. Give, give it a little bit more. Just give it some. Yeah, but don't climb up the bank. Keep oh, it this keep way. Oh, keep it in yeah. the rut. Keep it in the rut. It's been a while since Mitch has driven manual, and this is a heck of a place to relearn in it, but he's doing a great job, and Sooty's absolutely eating this sort of terrain up. You're all right. Too much. Too much left. Too much. Oh, you made that look hard. Must run in the family. In the rut. In the rut. Left. Right. 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 Oh, oh other. Okay. We're driving that side of the rut. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> Very effective though, mate. Very well effective, done. Mate. Put it there, mate. That is that's good a pretty drive. good drive. I'm just checking you got the do you remember how to do it? You good? I think so. I think so. It's getting a bit getting a bit slippery up here. It is a bit slippery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. There we go. There we go. This is a pretty wild rock step, and that's Graham is giving it everything, but it's just a bit too much. Oh. Let's have a winch, eh? Mitch had about 1,800 goes on here, so he? don't feel bad. The problem is, with only one locker in the rear, it's just unsprung and it just won't make it up here. We had twin lockers, we had a couple of goes with the 80. You need two lockers of this hill, I think. The boys are soon up and over that pinch, and with the recovery gear back under the tray, they're ready to send it up to the top. Time for the big GU to pigeon coo up the climb. And look at that, not even a wheel lift. That's a capable rig. Yeah! Woo. No Easy, mate. Nice Easy. one, mate. You got this, mate. <laughs> Sam's next, and with no rear locker, this could be a challenge. <laughs> That's it, Sam. You nearly got that, mate. Just do it, but in four-wheel drive. Hey Sam, just feed it, mate. Feed the hippo, mate. What am I getting caught on? A bit more momentum, it should be okay. Keep it on boost, mate. That's and it. Back off. When it's on side, back off. Oh! That was a bit of air. Hey right, Sam, I reckon you got this, man. I think at the start you need the momentum right at the start, and then if anything, back off when it gets here. But get the speed at the start. You're trying to build it up as you come up. Wheel straight. Just give it a good punch. That's 
spicy. With a lot of commitment and some right boot, the big hippo is up and over. Well done, Sam. Up next is the final challenge of Morbid Trail, a steep shoot with almost zero traction. Sorry, Mitch, I'm taking the keys back for this one. This is just way too much fun. A little bit scared, mate. Oh, mate, this is, this is actually the hardest bit of the track, oh, so... Oh, come on. oh, it is. Come on, mate. Come on. Bring him up. Oh! Oh, suck! <laughs> Get after him. Go a little bit faster. Not work yet. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to stop. Ooh. I'm trying to stop. Oh. Maybe going to give it a real go. Oh, Far out. Put in second from the flat. Yeah, as soon as I get the first. There it is. That was gonna be a change. Let's winch over here all night. Come out. <laughs> Let's winch out. Just can't do it. I thought this car had power, Ooh, right? One more go. One more go. One Ooh. more, no more. You really one. got it on that sack. There's that, that little dip. I just fade it through there a bit. Come on, Soot. We can do this. It's a bit more serious. No. Yes! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Yeah! <laughs> I saw people just running out of the way, I said, you big out of the way. I'm not stopping. The vein in my forehead is massive. Wow, that was awesome. That was a lot of power bouncing. Yeah, lots of that. And just drive like a madman. That was a good drive. Oh, that was sick. Righto, Kato. Righto, Kato. You got two more cylinders than him. Kaido's just... given it a real punt, but no go. Take two, mate. This is the one! Might have it. Might have it. Go, yeah. 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 go, go, go! Yes! yes. Oh. Oh. Well, we so close! That was so close. Oh, oh so oh, close. I thought he nearly had that. Yeah. With a few four-wheel drives up the climb, the track is now incredibly slippery, and even walking up it is pretty difficult. quito has got the winch hooked up and the big 76 pointed to the top. Thanks, mate. Loved it. Righto, mate. Two cars left. Pete's up next. I reckon he is going to send this. He's going to drive yeah. it really hard. It's a patrol. Twin lock, 35, oh, it's super light. I think he's, he's going to give this a red up go. Yeah, he probably, if, he's got, if anyone's going to do it, it'll be Pete. Yep. I reckon Bump so. that throttle control up so. and he'll nail it. I Everyone reckon. get back. I don't know about this one. It's been raining, it's slippery, slippery, and it's got whoopie doos in it, big holes. I reckon I'm going to boost it up to U9. I'm going to sharpen that accelerator as much as possible because I want it to be as responsive as possible. I'm going to lock it up. I'm going to hope that the four-wheel drive gods look after me. Uh-oh. Righto, Pete. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, he's got yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well done. <laughs> First go. Yeah. Yeah. What a rig. Beast. That thing is so good. It is, mate. He just held onto it. Yeah. I thought he didn't have enough power, but he got that push down. Yeah. Incredible. Instant power when and he needed it. Well, didn't even uh, struggle either. Just straight up. How good. Sam's up. What do you reckon? 37s. Heaps of power. Yep. I think he's going to struggle. Yeah, I think, I think he's going to struggle. Only because the fact he doesn't have a rear locker mm. and he probably doesn't want to break anything. It was late in the day, so he, he might he do does a caution approach. He does have 30 pounds of boost. Just so. He does. <laughs> I, so I reckon, uses 50 I reckon he could do it. He could. Yeah, he could do it. get up there. Try to give it everything, eh? Let's see how we go. That's a nice drive. Yeah. That's Come it. on! Come on! Yeah. Nah. I reckon again. He, he, yeah. he backed off. And he steered into the bank a yeah. tiny bit. That, that killed his momentum. Have another Price go! Price in the rut, Sam! Well, we're starting there. Go, 
One more go, we'll see what happens. I think if I can stay out of those ruts, the front locker and a bit of mayo, we can get it. Mate, I, I don't, it was mate. all just a flash. I don't know what happened, <laughs> mate. And you did not back oh, off. Yeah. That was the key to that. One drive. second I was at the bottom, next I was at the top. <laughs> I was smiling <laughs> up to I'm a diesel now. Mate, I'll mate. tell you what. You can tell when you're going to make it, it goes from. Thanks, <laughs> 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 noise. What are you doing that noise? Yeah. Oh, it, makes, yeah. it makes some power, this thing. Yeah. Oh, well, excellent, mate. Well, what done. Track. One more time. What a track. Done. Well, that's Jock's track done and dusted. And what a way to end a road trip up the coast. The wheeling in this part of the world is second to none. We've had an absolute blast. Well, what do you reckon, mate? Do you have a ball? That was an epic trip. That was How absolutely good. epic. How good is it, eh? Coffs Harbour, all down the mid-north coast of New South. Doesn't get much better. Quite you got a copy, mate? Yeah, sure do, mate. I've got to say, mate, you are the madman of this trip. I, you just went insane. Three wheels the whole way up Morbid. I mean, you've done more time on three than on four, I reckon, on this trip. Mate, I gotta say, I probably say this every trip, but Morbin is my new favourite track. Uh, absolutely loved it, mate. Loved the mud, and um, there, there, a little bit of rain brought it on for us. So, what an awesome few days. Pete, Pete, Mr. Smooth. I've only got one little gripe is you drove it a little bit too easy, and you made the rest of us look bad. Oh, mate, I don't think that was the case at all. I've got to tell you, I was pretty busy in here with the steering wheel, but I had a, a thoroughly uh, a fantastic time with you blokes as usual. Big Sammy, all that soil, all that noise, it was just something to be seen, mate. Mate, hopefully the big thing can put on a show. As always, yeah, we've had a blast, it's been great. And that last track, holy heck. Well, the bloke who picked that track, Jocko, Graham. Hey, epic trip, boys. Yeah, mate, epic trip, and uh, I think Graham will be glad to not have me in his vehicle anymore. <laughs> but he's laughing and having fun, but he's secretly... It's the end! <laughs> it's the end! <laughs> no, we had an absolute ball in the new D-Max. I'm stoked I got to give it a little drive as well. Yeah, right on. You boys did well, mate. Take the stocks down at D-Max up these tracks. We all struggled on 35s and even 37s. Yeah, mate, I think Jock's going to go away with this with a new appreciation of just how to wheel tough tracks as well. He's learned a lot, and it's been an absolute... Pleasure and an honour to take him under my wing, mate. Oh, that's nice. Mate, you've done a good job, mate. You, you've even given a bit of encouragement as well, so he'll probably go back and drive his Hilux with a bit more confidence. Well done, Graham. Well, mate, I've had a blast. Absolute ball, mate. Now, folks at home, Jocko and I have been discussing this while we've been on the tracks, and we want to know what you folks reckon is the best track in the mid-north coast of New South Wales. There's plenty to choose from. Heaps to choose from. I'm going to say more, but I really enjoy Morbid. Mm -hmm. um, but that said, there's so many. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So and make sure you leave them in the comments below because we need a few ideas for next yes, time we're around this way. Yes, mate. we will go and drive them. So the best comments, you'll see us on your tracks for now. Pub? Pub. Pub. <laughs> yes. Let's head to the pub, folks. Sounds We've good. had an absolute blast. we one of those trips. I won't forget it in a long time. I hope you've enjoyed it. Stick around right now. The bloopers are up and I reckon you are going to be the star. Oh, I always am. But they're my favourite <laughs> bit. I'm an idiot. Anyway, time for the pub, mate. Thanks, guys. Yeah, cheers. We'll get you to the outtakes in just a minute, but first, we want to take you through some of the gear we rely on to take us to places like this. Well, mate, our favourite tracks on the East Coast, yep. and look, they've been all time, you know, yep. they started off kind of mild, then they yeah, got wild, wild, then they got <laughs> insane, we got rain in Coffs Harbour, just one of those trips to remember. Yeah, it has me, been, mate. really has been, yep. Now, as a bit, I want to go through a couple of the products that we've used on this trip to make it possible, mm -hmm. and I want to start off, mate, do you remember we are down, you know what I'm going to say here, we are yeah, down yeah. In, in the dark, Going through a creek run, that I was needed. Gnarly. I know exactly. It was absolutely gnarly. wild. Hadn't been driven in ages. I flicked the Terra Looms on, the light tonight. bar, and I've got the icons. I just lit the whole place up, yep. and um, yep. thank goodness because a night run, you're going to need quality spotlights. Yeah. That's yep. exactly what the Terra Looms are, mate. Yep, I've got the light bar up the front here. Magic, really yeah. good. Now you might have noticed that I'm a bit of a grubby bugger. Um, hey, look at you. Haven't shared in a couple of days. <laughs> haven't really been taking care of myself, and you might have noticed too. I'm driving a brand new four-wheel drive, and if you want to resell that four-wheel drive, one of the first things anyone's going to look at 
are the seats. If you jump into a car and the seats look like crud, yep, you're going to knock interior. 500 bucks straight off. Yep. So do yourself a favour, folks. Put a good set of seat covers in there with the Razorbacks. I put them in on day one. The day we picked this up, first thing we did was put the Razorback seat covers on there, and then I don't have to worry about it. No, exactly right, mate. And I've been I've been, I've been riding with Jock. Yeah, well, I it's, hope the passenger seat's got a Razorback mate, on there, it mate. Has, it I'll has, it has. I'll put two on there. Yeah, right? I might <laughs> take that one out and throw it away. <laughs> Disgusting. But I also just quickly wanted to get into some facts and figures with regards to why people should subscribe to our channel and our social media channels. Yeah. There is so much that goes on that you're not going to see if you're not subscribed to Instagram, to Facebook, and to YouTube. Yeah, exactly right. Look, if you want to see what goes on behind the scenes, I suggest you jump on the Facebook and Instagram. A lot yep. of people on YouTube, you know, you love the show. We get up to a lot of fun stuff behind the yep. scenes that these cameras can't ever capture. That's right. So you want to see what happens, a lot of mobile phone yep. sort of stuff. Hit our Instagram page up, our Facebook. Yep, Make sure exactly you follow right. us because there's a lot of stuff. And if you like prizes, oh, that's, that's exactly heck. where you're going to see them. Exactly right. So we, many. We've been giving away so many prizes lately. Thousands, so literally. Thousands Literally. of prizes. So yep. jump on our Instagram and our Facebook, and of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yep. So you don't miss a second of the action. Speaking of action, I say it every time we finish. It's about that time of night. In fact, at exactly 6:23. Well, it's like we've timed this on purpose, mate. I know. I know. The pubs are open. Coffs Harbour is all downhill from here, mate. I'll race you. Let's get out of here. Let's, Let's do, go it. And do it. Come on. No, don't hit me with the stick. Then put that back where it was and just sit and relax. Bringing out chainsaws and shovels and all sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> oh, have a go. Look at that. Is that far enough? <laughs> it's, it's a sensible phone holder. How do I read it? How do I make the text bigger on my phone? You don't like being high in a car, do you? <laughs> Lightning! <laughs> it's a raining! I've been in the car with you for too long. <laughs> too long. Too long. It's been too long. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <coughs> He's not well. He's got something wrong with him. Give, give the guy some days off, please. <clears throat> he can't drive a hard track tomorrow. Ooh. He can't drive a hard track full stop. Boom, boom! There's nothing hard about these, mate. You let the tyres in? You did. Did I? You don't remember? It was 10 minutes ago. I know that. What? Who are you? <laughs> Stay here. Ah! Oh, geez. Here comes the rain. This is insane. I just made a rhyme. <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs>